Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. This is Mrs. Green Thumb and this live stream, well, it's going to be interesting. I had filmed a few days ago and I had talked about it days ago. How I was going to bring you some videos. So there's four different small videos to put together so that we can discuss all the types of milkweed that I, I filmed around here like me and my neighbor have and the connection with you know by growing this common milkweed which is really easy to grow it brings up so many pollinators but it also brings back bees and so that's what this live stream is about i had said it and i want to my word is good when i say things that i want to bring back to educate people on stuff like that now i want to say good morning to misha lee thank you for joining me or good afternoon i'm saying good morning but good afternoon actually it's 12 29 p.m so it just turned into the afternoon for me but uh yeah, I thank you. And if you can't be here, I always appreciate people leaving a comment um, when you're not here on my live streams after. I see that. I read them. And you will get a comment back. So thank you so much for that. Um, and But it's exciting. Right now, the one on the screen right now is the common milkweed, which there you go, Mish. If you can hear me, you can see, see they're white and then they turn pink. This is what they look like. They're really actually quite pretty, the flowers and everything connects to them so i don't know if you can see that or not so um i'm going to show the videos in a couple minutes um i'll start like i like i said i have four clips and they're on loop so i'm gonna just loop them around and explain a little bit um so i don't know misha are you still here and anyways if you're not that's okay i'm just going to continue on with uh getting into this video and I might obviously repeat things because new people come in yeah I see some they, they, they kind of start oh no actually the white is my onion <laughs> by the way that's funny you'll see in the video that white per is actually my onions that they are going to seed and the bees actually like that too I, I don't even like these onions I kept them there because the bees like it I was like okay well I won't I don't like these particular onions I grew but I'll leave the flower there because the bees are really enjoying it. And then in the fall, I'm just going to pull the, the root and just let it biodegrade. Yeah, the, it's not white. I forgot it. <laughs> it's the onion head. But they love it. The bees absolutely love it. So, uh, that, that hey, Jenny's books and vlogs. Hello. Welcome, Jenny. Do I know you? And if not, welcome. Welcome on this educating live stream. That's what this is going to be about. Uh, everybody that knows me knows I've raised monarch butterflies for the last four years. Now, this I'm not telling anybody to to really raise them if, unless they really, really want to and educate themselves on how to do it properly. But I will say all you got to do is do some um, grow some common milkweed, and this is going to help your garden. It's going to help the bees. It's going to help the butterflies. It'll help all of it. And that's kind of what the, this year I'm more promoting, more than raising a monarch butterfly, um, I'm promoting, and she says, I do know you. Okay, Jenny. Um, it's been a while then, right, since you came? So I'm promoting the, if you know me, uh, you will know that I've been doing this for four years. Like I said, I guess I'm repeating things, but four years I've done this. I have 10 this year. It's very exciting, and I do live streams where I open up the camera, and I'm showing you different live streams until they're all gone, and I release them all. So it's kind of exciting. So far, I have 10. Uh, first year I had um, one mainly that flew away. The second year I had two that, that flew away. And secondly, I had last year one. And so I'm really excited. Oh, of course I know you. Hi, darling. I was, you switched your name. Hi, Jenny. Of course I know you. How are you doing, honey? Um, I hope everything is well. Of course I know you, Jenny O'Brien. And I, I, I jump and go visit you every so often. But I haven't seen you on lately. So you switched your names because you like books. Well, that's nice, Jenny. And it's nice that you're visiting me, for sure. Um, and you know me long enough that you know about my butterflies I do every year. That's that's correct. So let me get into the video because I want to talk about everything. And, and you know, um, and I don't want to stay on here too, too long. Like I always say, like the, the most I want to stay on because I have things and errands to do in the garden and stuff that I haven't done yet. So I'm going to switch it over to at least the first video. Um, if you want to hear sound, I took the sound off because it, they were working in the back. You'll see my husband's working in the back. And so was my uh, next door neighbor's son. They were doing stuff and they were running um, an air compressor. So um, I'm hoping you're not going to hear that sound because it was really 
kind of annoying for me. So I'm going to flip you to the first one right here. And you're ready to start. This is, oh, wait a minute now. Hang on a minute. Sorry. Let's put you, I got to go find my clips here where I put them. Um, right here. Now you're ready for the first one. Okay, so here it is. There's the common milkweed I transplanted from uh, Tim Hortons, another area. And if anybody like me asked, if you want me to do a video, I'm going to try to do a video on transplanting milkweed. So if you find it in somebody else's area, then you can move it. And then this is what happens. I moved it, I think, last year. And now look how much it's coming up. I don't want that bed full of milkweed th next year. So that's going to be moving out of there. But look at the bees. Look at... Uh, you know, I had five bees one time. I couldn't film it there, but they have at least, I had at least five bees right on these, this area. So I'm trying to show you some clips. I actually did about several clips. Can you see it? Um, you, you'll see. There's a part where I'm actually really close. I don't know if I did the right clip. It's a pain in the butt. So if you actually want to put a video on OBS and bring it up, you actually, I had to sit there and upload it to YouTube, turn it into a video, download it, and then now I get to pull it up. Because otherwise, if I just do a video clip and I don't put it to YouTube and bring it back, um, I can't even pull it up on OBS. So that's kind of how I had to do it. And so if uh, my friend comes in, I will explain that to her, why it was taking me so long. I can't just come up. I actually, so I'll be running these clips again because it was a, basically a pain in the butt to actually bring them to you. But um, so you can see, I know there's a part where I'm really close to a bee on here. You'll, you'll see it. Like I actually, they don't bother me. These particular bees were, there it is. There's more, you can see the bee. But these particular bees, um, I my hands were right close by. I wasn't frightened at all of getting stung. However, I, in my whole life, I've been stung many a times. And I still want to protect the bees. I mean, I've been stung so many times since I was in high school. And as a kid, I was stung by a, a tree stump that had tons. They're very good for the ecosystem, actually, Jen. And that's why I'm protecting them because I, I could take the obs away and say, I don't want them because I freaking been stung by them. Uh, since I was a little kid, I wasn't even in kindergarten and, and there was a tree stump and I had a, I was like just having fun as a little kid. And, um, I was right over top of a, a bee's nest and they all came out and my mom was chasing me with the broom to get the bees all off of me. So I was stung several times as a child and then throughout my lifetime, through high school, it, it almost like they connected me that I should have been honey by now. That's how many times I was stung by a bee. But um, in the end, as you grow up, you realize how important they are to the ecosystem. You're absolutely right. So I'm not afraid of them. If you're afraid of them, it's almost, I was, I would like to shoo them away. And that was not good. It actually irritates them. So you just kind of like, just be calm around them and, and they're not going to bother you. They don't. So that's, but it took a long time to realize all this as I grew up, you know, and it's kind of like if you tell kids that at the start, just don't panic and relax more, your chances are you're not going to get stung. If you sit there and wave your hands and, and it, it, they, they're going to react on that. There it is. There, this part is exciting. See, I'm showing you with my, my hand, right? My hand's pretty close. There's another section I did on here that's even closer. I'm right near this really big bee and, um... Like I said, you should. You would think I'd be frightened with them. I'm afraid of humans more than bees, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> ah, that's funny. And so I'm going to see this area now. This is going to become something else next year. But I'm going to move all or whatever I can move. Or if I have to find new transplants, because these are too big. I would not recommend this size of plant to transplant. It's too big. If you try to transplant this one, it's going to probably die. You need to take baby milkweeds and transplant it so i really should um try to do a video on it i think if i'm kind of promoting trying to move them i really think you should know how to move them see there's a baby one i already moved i didn't videotape it but see right below down there that's a tiny one that's about the size you want to move so i took that and i did move it i've got two moved to my new butterfly area and that this is going to be gone i don't want milkweed in here unless i have no choice but i want to put this is going to be a vegetable garden for next year. I actually want to do something else with it. So there you go. Where's that bee? I know there's a part where it was really cool. I went really close to the bee. Um, where'd it go? I think it's after this part here. Somewhere. 
And I was looking, I, what I'm doing, you know what I'm doing here? I'm looking actually for more eggs. I'm looking for monarch butterfly eggs when I was doing that. There you go. There's a bee right there in front of you. I was trying to look for, uh, I, every day I go out and see if I can find more butterfly eggs. Or I have actually catched the caterpillars. And I'm going to show you on which one. Um, but th these things, the, the bees love these. Love this flower. Not only that, there's tons of different kind of bee like insects that I was trying to show you some not so nice the Japanese um, the Japanese bug beetle likes going on there too and I was like get off and I kind of shooed the bad ones off but there's actually another one I don't know if it's close enough to see there's my feet nice camera job I didn't realize I did that <laughs> um, but anyways there's you know those little glow little bugs the glow bugs those are on there too surprisingly they're red in color and black and i actually thought they were a bad thing and they're not they're not a bad bug and that's what they look like they look like when when you don't see them at night they glow but in the daytime they're kind of red and black and they hang on this these milkweed too they don't do any damage that i've noticed but they do hang on the milkweed so whenever i was doing that i was i was literally looking for for little caterpillar signs or egg signs on here and I did catch some. I did get the eggs. I've never caught. This is the funny thing. Hi, Fox, the cutest dog. Hello. Well, thank you very much, Fox, for watching the ad. That's always appreciated. There's a pert where, um, and if you guys want to connect to me, please watch the video. If you have a video outstanding, I don't think about it here. If you come in and you want to, you see my videos and you want, you have a video you want me to watch and stay connected with me, then just leave a comment to one of my videos. That's why I go back to you. A live stream is totally different. I really am not paying attention. I'm just trying to show you. Um, okay, this is just repeating itself. So, um, yeah. So if you want a video to see, please leave a comment and I'll check to see if you got a newer video and I'll go watch it. That's what I'll say on this. Okay, this is repeating, but I'm going to go to get the, the next one. So this is going to get shut down, and I'm going to give you two, um, and I'll repeat it uh, for the live stream. Okay, so this is another milky. This is my neighbor's, and if you notice, this is another type. It's a really pretty pink one, but unlike the common milkweed, it's a perennial, and if you look, look at how tiny the, the leaves are. That's a different kind of milkweed. This one she actually probably bought, um, and you can see all the, the stuff going around it. But they're tiny leaves. I was looking to see if there's anything there on there on this one. And they seem to I'll show you the one that I found the most caterpillars on. Uh, it wasn't a common one. The common one I found eggs, but I didn't find really caterpillars. And I saw baby caterpillars on the other one of mine. So this is um let's see, I'm just playing this video out. But it looks cool. That's the pink one. And it's a really pretty looking plant, actually. And smaller leaves and, and the flowers look a little bit different. So I'm going to move to the next one. And I'm just, as I do the live stream, I'm just going to move around. It's just repeating on a loop. And then I'm going to take uh, number three now. I have three. Let's try three. Okay, this is a different oh, kind still of watching it. There's This is another one. And Look at this white, white flowers, flowers and leaves. tiny leaves, and, and, and you can see that everybody's buzzing around. All the, the little leaves. creatures are really liking it. And this is a white one. This is a white milkweed, and it's a perennial, so it's kind of cool looking. And as you notice, um, hostas, like I've said tons of times, you could kind of put hostas together with this one, and, and boy, the, you know, the everybody's going to love it the bees are going to love it every kind of pollinator is going to love the flower from a hostess and now you got the milkweed so the two combinations together is really really good stuff for you know for any pollinator poor fox it's okay i will go back over some of the stuff after um but i'm just kind of showing and explaining and if you got any questions uh shoot them so this is my fourth one so I have four videos and as I talk I'm just gonna go through each video and then talk to you guys oh, all right well now you thank you for watching the ads and this is um, I'm just showing the different milkweeds so I guess you can hear me as you're watching the ads and this is a uh, this is a white milkweed flower that's a perennial and so you like this one this comes up every year if you get the right ones it's hard to find them trust me I I don't and know where she found this I'm gonna have to find out leaves. because 
some of the yeah, perennials i would love to have even more than the common one because they come up every year milkweed will come back but it kind of recedes itself and in, in the ground oh cool that's cool oh, bill that's, nice that's nice that's very cool there you go hi good morning butterfly hunters good morning butterfly hunters okay so let me the fourth one is the one i really i'm going to go through all of it because i know people are coming in the door right now and here you go this is the one i found four caterpillars on um that's mine that's my milkweed i got three of these and the, and that's the one where i said it was orange it's a really pretty one it's actually bright red and yellow like it's ready orange and yellow and it's beautiful looking the fly oh there you see look 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 there's a the butterfly there's it's not the, the it's not a monarch but you did see it i tried i thought it was cool i just let this one film for a while as i was cleaning my garden but it's a really nice looking one and this is my butterfly garden fox you're new to my channel um i have started a butterfly garden last year which was small and now it goes along and it's it's quite long now it's quite a few feet i'm telling you and then I'm going to go continue next year, and I'm going to add at least another 10 feet because I'm going to put a bicycle in it, and I'm going to make it really cool. So, um, yeah, it's, let's see. I filmed it, so that I think the butterfly comes back again on this one. But this is where, and you can see the seeds. You're, I think I come back and I show you um, the seeds. See those things? They're pods right there, and those are pods, the seeds, um, right on the side of this one. Now, this seems to go into... To, seeding really fast this like it didn't take that long i've had it i bought them for i don't know a couple of months and then now they flowered and and the caterpillars laid the, like the butter, monarch butterfly laid eggs on it and they hatched the only thing i noticed is i really kept an eye on this plant is because it had uh, it has another kind of bug that goes into it and kind of infests the leaves on this one and I was actually literally pulling some of the leaves off because i didn't want the bad bugs in there and i was also cleaning it off hi dave so um yeah this is i think there's more this one goes on a little longer I, it's hard to tell how long the clip is because i can't really see can't it doesn't show me how long it's ended and it repeats itself but i just thought i'd show you this is one that i got, i found that i had the most baby caterpillars i found on this particular milkweed and it's nice looking in the garden i love the flowers it's probably one of the prettiest flowers of all of them this is supposed to be coming back every year but i had two of them last year and they died off so that they, that they, they, they're kind of sold as a perennial but they're not really a perennial because they're dying off and i have to go buy them every year but i would probably buy some more because i really think they're awesome and i know that this is the one last year too this is how i got my butterfly from last year actually it was one of these plants that had a little baby caterpillar the one i released named claire last year and it was on this plant that we found the little baby caterpillar on this particular milkweed um when i try to give you names of the milkweeds i don't have any names because all they sell this as is they say it's uh a milkweed they don't say uh, what kind it is so i've showed you four different kinds i know the common one that's the most easiest one to identify but this these ones i don't know um I wish they would i would uh, next time i see where i bought these i'm going to see if i could get one of the gardeners to see can you tell me what exactly kind of milkweed this is because the, the monarchs actually love this one it's the i mean for me personally it's the one where i found the most amount of caterpillars on it so the other ones the other bigger ones the common ones were eggs so i'm going to start from the beginning here it's just videos that i i did out of my yard and my neighbors just to show you i, I said i was going to come back with all this stuff so let me see let's this is um i kind of got them in order so i'm going to close that one off and this is one so there's one video and this is kind of my longest one because i'm actually i wanted to show you the the connection with the common milkweed and bees which i was talking about in many of my live streams i've been talking about how i've observed this we were working down there that's uh air compressor by the way my husband's kind of we're building he's doing me a favor i put two benches back there and there's some and he was putting the frame for cement so now because i would i want to sit there while i work back there uh, um, he had made two benches about two years ago and they look really cool back there they were made out of um oh you know uh i can't even think of the name but all the i made had so many things made out of um you know pa pa not panels but 
um, come on, Mish, you're always good for me when I'm stuck for words. You know, where you make a lot of furniture out of the pallets. That's it. I got it. Pallets. So see, there's my bench right there. You can see my bench and underneath he put, put a frame and we put cement because I said I want to sit there but the ground is so unlevel that I want to put the bench on something level so I actually he did he kind of made me this year that was one of the jobs I wanted done this year so we got they're both little cement slabs and then the bench will sit nice and neat outside so when I'm working and if I get too tired I get I got two benches areas I can just sit on or I can actually work right from the bench so and that's kind of what I want to do for the butterfly area I actually want to put more I kind of like what I did here I might do that you guys I might actually do a, a showing you the a, a longer video and do a live stream on what showing you my butterfly area because then I can kind of zoom into plants and uh, do one just one long unedited video and you'll see you'll see this kind of cool things that are going on um, and stuff I've transplanted all over the place um, yeah I'm gonna have to do a few of those So let's see. Um, you guys, any any questions? You're just talking to each other, meeting each other's channels. Okay, dokie. So, anyways, I would, if you know anybody, I would appreciate the connection of sending people back here to you know learn about the monarch butterfly and the bee connection to the common milkweed as I do these live streams. Um, I'm happy for you guys to meet each other, but on my side of this, I would like people to be bigger and come back here so that you can put this out in an educated way for more, a lot of people. That's what I want. That's my kind of goal. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. So I do. I want people to come here to be educated on what I'm showing you guys. All right. And there's that onion plant there, um, right there, the white thing. I was joking. I was laughing with Misha. I said, I thought it was the front, but what am I talking about? That big ball is onions, onion, onion power. And the, the bees absolutely love this flower. Absolutely love the, the, when it flowers into seeds, the bees. Oh, thanks. Thank you. That's exact. Fox, I appreciate that. I just want people to come to the the live streams are educational um, is what I really want. I mean, I, I do live streams where we're all in here. And we just chat with each other. But this one, these ones are kind of special to me when I'm doing the butterflies and I'm doing this milkweed. And then when I get into the gardening stuff, I kind of like that too. So I have been on for 25 minutes. It's cool. I'm going to try to not keep this too, too long. That's what I'll say on this. Um, well, thank you. Um, the more the merrier, like I said, I don't care that you all meet each other. That is great. You want to support each other. That's wonderful. But I would just love people to come back here that are from your channels to come and see my stuff would be cool and, and uh, educating if they're interested in it. I don't expect people to come here if they're not interested in what I'm talking about. I get it. But if they're interested in learning to do with this, understanding you want more bees to your garden and gardening, um, this is a big deal. I think this is a really big deal, actually, because it doesn't take much work. Once you transplant them and you get common milkweed, unless you do some harmful things, so they'll come back. They kind of look like fireworks. What looks like fireworks? Are we talking about the flowers look like fireworks? So, this is really a big deal to me. And this is this is observations of this year. Oh, it's tropical milkweed. Uh, I don't know about that, Patrick. I'm not sure because some of the, the stuff is harmful to... There's certain milkweeds that are you should not be growing. They have to die off. If you get milkweed that doesn't die off, that's not good for the monarch butterflies. Actually, it's it's kind of damaging to them. So, um, but 
I don't know if it's tropical because one of the tropical ones I read before, you shouldn't be growing. And these ones have no issues with us. They, where I live in Canada, and when they, they migrate from Mexico all the way through, like California, all the way come down to, to Ontario, and then they go back up to Mexico. And I did, I have said something else that was kind of cool, that um, actually, I think I'm going to throw this one on too. i got to see if I can find it. But I want to show you that when my friend came from Australia, our friend, I forgot what the name of the exact channel, I don't want to insult him. But uh, he was saying, we have monarch butterflies there. And I said, you do? I thought it was only like in North America. And then when I started researching it, uh, you know, about a few days ago, found out, yes, it was brought to um, out there. Yeah, I'm in Ontario, Jenny. It was brought to Australia in the 18, around 1870. I'm going to actually research that right now because I thought this was kind of cool, the connection that I had no idea. I learn things new all the time and I just bring it to my channel. Um, I think, all right, so let's see, my